All right, I wanted to get Larry Pinkney on today, and I really appreciate him uh, joining us because he is a veteran of the Black Panther Party, the former Minister of Interior of the Republic of New Africa, a former political prisoner, and the only American to have successfully self-offered his civil political rights case in the United Nations under the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights. And it's also come out even in Congress that he was set up under COINTELPRO. And he has been very critical of the new Black Panther Party, which is just like the Ku Klux Klan in my view. Federally handled, run, meant to act completely idiotic and make everybody hate each other. Larry, uh, give us the inside scoop on what you think of the attempts by a lot of different sides to try to uh, create a racial explosion out of the tragic Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman case. What's your take on that? My take on, first of all, my brother, Alex, it's good to hear your voice. Thank you. Thank you for good having me. Good to hear yours. Me. All right, and thank all your, your viewers and listeners. Now, to answer your question, this is COINTELPRO all over again. This is a counterintelligence program on steroids, you dig? It's on steroids. And, and the fact is, is that we need to understand it for what it really is. This is about divide, conquer, keep in fear, and control. That's what this is about, Alex. My brother, we need to keep on putting that information out there. You need to keep on putting that information as do I, out there. That's my uh, perspective on that. I agree, and, and it's so transparent. Uh, you know, they've, they've declassified FBI fake comic books they would put out about the Black Panthers showing Black Panthers killing white people to be blamed on you. I mean, this is just, it's pretty obvious this new, what's your inside take uh, on the new Black Panther Party? Because you've told me well, off air they're pretty bad news. Well, look, I want everybody, everybody, black, white, brown, red, and yellow folk, all my brothers and sisters, all my sisters and brothers, I want you to stop and I want you to think. Just for, I know it's hard to think, but stop and think just for a few seconds. Who are these people? Who is funding these people? Where do they come from? Whose interests are they serving? Okay, good questions more often than not turn out to be in themselves good answers, all right? Why is it that the so-called New Black Panther Party is always on hand to fan the flames of hatred, to fan the flames of fear, to fan the flames of disunity? No, we need unity among black, white, brown, red, and yellow, everyday, ordinary people. So I'm throwing some questions out there. The original Black Panther Party formed in October of 1966, of which I was a member, believed in all power to the people. Black, white, brown, red, and yellow people, all right? All of us, because we understood and we understand today that this struggle is about all of us. You know, resistance is not futile. It is essential to our life and our liberty. Absolutely. I mean, it's so transparent with the new Black Panther Party, the stuff that comes out. It's, it's meant to, 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 to make it all about race instead of about the issues. And, and, if any, and if anybody was for real and talked like that, they'd be arrested. Right, right. I mean, ask yourself this question, or we should ask ourselves, this question. Now, the Black Panther Party was formed in October of 1966. I ain't talk I'm not talking about the so-called New Black Panthers, okay? Jive, 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 as we say back in the day. But it's worse than jive. Because when you talk about going into communities and killing people in those communities, what you're talking about is fanning hatred you're talking about absolutely uh, stay there we're back in 60 seconds i want to talk about what would happen if, they, if this actually took place now you can watch alex jones live at infowars.com forward slash show you'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for prison planet tv
You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Coming up, we're going to have Wayne Madsen, a real NSA whistleblower, in studio with us. He's been demonized by CNN this week over the fact that he continues to reveal bombshell info. Uh, right now, uh, Larry Pinckney joins us, and perhaps we should get Larry on the news tonight so he can go for like 30 minutes uninterrupted by ads and really break down uh, what's happening here. But it's so transparent that... When they, it turns out the feds are funding the white supremacists and having a march to create division, or then they're funding radical racist black groups to create the division. So then everybody's scared of each other, and government can then play the part of the referee. That's what I take away from the reports that the new Black Panther Party people that we have up on Infowars.com are talking about uh, reportedly you know, going in and uh, burning down the white neighborhoods, or whatever that means. Uh, what, you were getting to what's really behind this, a former real member of the original Black pa Panther Party, their head of information, Larry Pinckney. Uh, Larry? Look, the bottom line is this. If we want unity, then we're going to have to work out our problems, work out whatever our disagreements might be. We're going to have to work them out together. You cannot, and I repeat, no one, we cannot fight quote, racism or exploitation, economic exploitation, with more racism and economic exploitation. It does not take a rocket scientist to figure that out. And we ordinary, everyday, black, white, brown, red, and yellow people are very astute. But I mean, how does pulling Reginald Denny out and bashing his face in uh, or, or burning down a, a predominantly white neighborhood with just random people in it. I mean, I mean, it's the same way like the Klan going out and just randomly lynching black people. I mean, it, it's just mindless. It's worse than the Klan. Let me tell you why I say to you that it is worse than the Klan. Black people and white people of goodwill and brown and red and yellow people have fought for many decades in this country for equality of all people. Then you have a group of people, quote unquote, who come along and say, nah, you know, white folks, you know, they devils. White folks, we gonna kill them. No, that's unacceptable, as Brother Malcolm said. And that's why I love Brother Malcolm, because he evolved, he grew, he understood. And Malcolm said, Right is right and wrong is wrong, no matter who says it or who does it. Uh, and he's absolutely correct. That's why they kill them, of course. But the bottom line is that we need to learn from that. These people made sacrifices. Dr. King made sacrifices. Rosa Parks, John Brown, Frederick Douglass. I can go on and on and on. The point is, let's not be sucked in by this insidious, insipid, blood-sucking, corporate stream media. All they want to do is get you to watch their vomit, okay, on television, read their vomit in newspapers and magazines. The last thing they want you to do, they don't ever want you to critically think, for us to critically think, and Lord knows they do not want us to come together to communicate directly. Absolutely. No, they want to... Get us all fighting with each other, and then they're the referee. I want to come back. We got Wayne Madsen coming in, but do five more minutes with you because I'm going to pull up the name of it. We did a video on the nightly news. It's now on YouTube. Uh, that's like an hour long where you eloquently break down what's happening, and I want to point people to that as well so they can see you do the whole history. But I want to talk about the Democratic Party itself, the party of the Klan, and how they've just tried to adopt a new racial politic versus what Malcolm X developed and evolved into in closing with you and then we'll give folks some of the latest on this trial and i don't know your take on it i'll get your take on the zimmerman trial i mean regardless of what really happened there they've made it a spectacle to create this division so i'll get your take on that and then we're going to get wayne madsen nsa whistleblower in studio sitting two feet from me with bombshell info stay with us
because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Larry Pinckney, who is an original Black Panther and one of their main leaders from back in the 60s to the 70s, was on with us a little bit in the last hour. He's finishing up now because I had a few other questions for him. But he said, undoubtedly, the new Black Panther Party, uh, who's reportedly been calling for unrest and things and violence in white neighborhoods uh, or predominantly white areas, uh, is basically there just to create divide and conquer uh, so the government can play the part uh, of the savior. And, and you can see the media, the White House, 
going in there with the Justice Department trying to get protests going because they just want it to be about race instead of the economic corruption. The foreign banks sucking us dry, uh, the big mega billionaires tax exempt, lobbying for higher taxes on the poor people, uh, the so-called Obamacare written by the insurance companies to rip people off and uh, have a private tax. They don't want that discussed. They don't want real unemployment discussed. They want us fighting with each other. But we've talked before, and we'll punch it up on screen. There's a video that we aired on the nightly news about a month ago when you were here, uh, Mr. Pinckney being interviewed for the Obama deception, too. We went ahead and just put the whole raw interview up. Clips of it will be in the film. And it was titled, Black Panther uh, Condemns Obama. Larry Pinckney. Now, when you search that, it has like 60-something thousand hits on the Alex Jones channel, views. But you cannot search it in YouTube and find it on our channel. And this started about three weeks ago where none of our headlines are searchable. Only on other people's sites that have a copy of the headline. And so that's why the thousands of other YouTube sites might get a million views on a video I do. And it gets 30,000 on our site. They are trying to block us. They know we're reaching, let, let's not exaggerate, uh, 15 plus million a week on AM, FM, shortwave, XM, uh, YouTube, and a lot of other platforms, people handing DVDs to each other. The point is they're scared of this info. And they have heavily censored our interviews with Mr. Pinckney where they just don't show up. They're like ghosts in the machine. And they're trying to shut down our channel with 300 and something million views. That's just one channel we've got. We've got a whole bunch of others. Go to the channel where there's thousands of incredible reports and videos. Copy those to your channel. Give them other names. Jam the system. You got to go to Conspiracy Scope to find the Black Panther uh, condemns Obama. Uh, and, you know, gets into how he's not a lesser of two evils. He's a more effective of evils for the front of the globalists. So finishing up with the Democratic Party, because I just see them, you know, they failed with their race politics with white racism. So now they've just moved into divide and conquer. Your take on that, and then if you could just briefly tell your Malcolm X story and how he changed your life, you got a chance to get to talk to him and know him. Just like Charlton Heston took time out to talk to me and encourage me, he was a civil rights activist, but uh, for civil rights here in the US, but then for guns as well. Uh, just like Malcolm X took time out to encourage you uh, early on. So let's briefly tell that story. Then we're going to go to NSA whistleblower Wayne Madsen. Okay, let me say, first of all, let me send my kudos, love, strength, and respect to uh, to Brother Wayne Madsen. I, he's a great researcher, fantastic writer, and I read everything that the, man, that the man writes. Thank you so much. Look, moving on to what you said, Alex, the bottom line is this, that I learned we all learn, but I certainly learn uh, from Brother Malcolm when I met him in 1961. Uh, and and I, I, I understood even at that young age that I was then that this is a struggle about all people. Now, with respect to the federal government and what they are doing, you know, Obama was groomed and raised by the CIA. Let's be honest. Stop playing with ourselves. Stop this intellectual masturbation. He was groomed and raised by the Central Intelligence Agency. He is simply carrying on that which his predecessors had already begun. Now, I think, uh, Alex, that we have to understand that we have a responsibility as everyday, ordinary, black, white, brown, red, and yellow people to communicate with each other, not only to communicate, but to come together, whatever our disagreements may be, and we will have them. As Malcolm said, we have them in the closet, but we come out as a united front, and that's what we do. We have an obligation to come together to, to, to fight this national and global power elite. What we're seeing with the so-called New Black Panther Party, again, I ask you, Whose interests are these people serving? Go into the white community and burn down their homes? Excuse me, kill white babies? Excuse me, but it ain't about that. Yes, I'm slipping off into a little ghetto ease. It ain't about that. It's about the power of the people. All power to the people, black, white, brown. Exactly, red, and the globalists are scared to death of that. And of course, you're you're probably talking about some of the earlier New Black Panther Party people who who would say, "Go to the."
go to the neighborhoods, get their babies, murder their babies, kill the women of the military manufacturing center. When I'm, I'm white, and I can tell you right now, growing up in Dallas, my family, there wasn't any racist stuff. It was the opposite. But there is, there is a, then a, a still a fear and a concern when the media plays it up constantly, where then, instead of, uh, of being racist, you feel so guilty and bad, you don't want to be around black people because it makes you uncomfortable, because you feel like you're so bad. See, and again, they know what they're doing. They yeah. want us all, they want black folks to feel the same. Not that whites are all racist and hate them, but uh, that they're uncomfortable as well. Can you speak to that briefly? Yes, the bottom line is what I called in, in, in the presentation that you were referring to that, that, that you all covered, and thank you very much for your care, that you're carrying. I called it an introverted form of racism, and that's what this is. It's where they take racism, they twist it and distort it. You know, why is it? I am sick and tired of every time I use the word slave, black people go, oh, they talking about me. Don't they know? Don't we know? Slaves were of all colors, all colors. And you know what? Today, we are slaves of all colors. Just because we have a colored charlatan, a colored charlatan by the name of Barack Obama, who is nothing more than a Trojan horse for the national and global power elite, just because we have this person sitting in the, quote, White House, has not changed anything. In fact, to the contrary, things have been made even more insidious and worse. So all I have to say, and I'm gonna say it until the day I die, that we the people, we the people must come together for our constitutional rights with respect to the Bill of Rights, with respect to international law, and first and foremost, with respect to the human rights of all people absolutely all right well listen i appreciate uh you spending time with us and we'll talk to you very soon larry probably next week uh this verdict could come out any day uh, in the aftermath of that uh, maybe this sunday we'll we'll stay in close contact thank you so much for spending time with us and uh, we'll talk to you soon Thank you. Stay strong. Love you, Alex. Watch your back and keep on keeping Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Well, we love you as well. We love everybody that stands up for human dignity and liberty. Because I'm here to tell you, folks, we're not going to have freedom for anybody under this divide and conquer. We either unify under liberty and freedom and the individual and what people stand for, what they produce, and who they are instead of what group they're in, or we're never going to have a future for our children. And humans have always been tribal, and as he said, there have been slaves in every culture in the world. They never teach that at the schools because they want black folks to think it's only them to have this identity, this, this, this inferiority complex to then be racially obsessed with it so the government then can basically provide them with the propaganda and direct their lives. And since the government took over the black community, you've seen what they've done. And every other community, the government's taking over. Just that black community has been in the clutches of this new world order longer. Now, we're going to go to break and come back with Wayne Madsen. You know, I, I've got like a thousand points that I want to go over with him. I, I, an amazing interview on the nightly news last night. I sat in the control room while they were, uh, you know, uh, on the news uh, doing the interview, him and Rob do. And it was just so many amazing things. And then Wayne's been down to Austin before. I've been interviewing Wayne, I don't know, for like 15 years or so, off and on on the radio, at least about 13, 14 I guess since about 1999, so I guess, yeah, wow, 14 years. Time flies. And it just everything he talks about later comes out and turns out to be true. I mean, this guy's got one of the best track records I've ever seen. In fact, I forgot to get you guys to get this. I want to play this later in the hour, a clip of it. Uh, it's called Reliable Sources, Unliable, Unreliable Sources. It's the show Reliable Sources, but they called it Unreliable Source. So just type in reliable sources, unreliable source. Takes you to CNN. They have the video. Dude's already grabbed it, actually, over on that side. So ask him. He'll give it to you so you don't have to grab it. I want to play it where they just spent, off and on, I'm going to play a short clip, like 20 minutes demonizing Wayne Madsen this weekend. Uh, not just on that show, but even others, saying this guy's a kook. He's nuts. He says they're tapping the transatlantic cable. That already come out. That was true. They say that we work with the Europeans to spy on everybody. That's already admitted. Uh, I mean, he's like, Wayne Madsen says that water is wet. <laughs> and then it turns out who these guys are from the Daily Beast, 
This is a White House operation. We're going to get into that first. Then we're going to get into the latest on the NSA, where all this is going. And then Wayne, as a journalist, was telling me about, and I remember reading this a while back about just a few years ago, doing stuff with British intelligence and all this other stuff. I mean, this is a really interesting guy. And if you want to know what a citizen journalist spy looks like, it looks like Wayne Madsen. They don't, most of them don't look like the guy in James Bond, you know, running around kicking people and cars with gadgets all over it and the rest of it. And, 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 and I guess he's, he's kind of a spy working for the people, but he's really interesting. Last night, because I can't follow everything he does, so prolific, he was telling me all this other stuff. And I was just like, wow, this is really wild. He could tell you stories uh, about run-ins with the head of the NSA and others at the CIA building and all sorts of stuff. Uh, Wayne Madsen, this is a guy you could be great to go on a fishing trip with this guy to a cabin for a week and grill some steaks. I tell you, he is fun to hang out with uh, and just a plethora of knowledge. So NSA Insider straight ahead. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.